Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and break them down into bite-sized pieces. I'll start something new, and this is all based on yesterday. We did a very quick snippet. It was like four or five minutes. We just talked about one story very quickly, and it was all about Facebook, how there are 48 uh, regulators that are gonna go after them from each state, the uh, state attorney's office, and they're gonna try to shut them down because of their violation of the antitrust laws. And I went over so well, everybody liked it so much that we're just gonna keep doing that. So we'll do a very small snippet story, and then we'll do our large story uh, later the day. So this is the story that I think is incredibly important and it's going to have ramifications all the way throughout. So Spain's second largest bank, BBVA, launches Bitcoin trading and custody in Switzerland. And we have been talking about different banks that are getting into this industry. And it seems like it's like they're happening at like a breakneck speed. Before, no banks really want to do anything with it. Now, here we are bank after bank after bank. That's on top of Standard Chartered, which is a huge banking industry in the UK. They have a ton of different uh, branches. A lot of people working for them, very big uh, player in the banking game. On top of Kraken, that just got approved for a special depository institution. On top of Avanti, which is now gonna be called a digital asset bank. And this was just approved October 28th, uh, was granted by an ace no vote by the state banking board. This is in Wyoming, the United States, and also we just saw yesterday that uh, BitPay wants to create a national bank in Georgia. So this is going right in line with what Mike Novogratz said yesterday. I'm not going to play the video. All he said was pretty much this. We have a ton of interest. We have a ton of institutions coming in. It's coming in at breakneck speed on top of the fact that all the banks are going to be forced into cryptocurrency digital assets because if they don't, they're going to wither away and they're going to die. So with that news, here we are. Second largest bank, BBVA, is launching cryptocurrency services. So here's what's happening. It stated that we have begun to roll out the trials of what will become its first commercial service for trading and custody of digital assets. BBVA is Spain's second largest bank after Banco Santander. And if you recognize that name, you might know it because of the XRP trials. Anyhow, the group was founded in 1857, 727 billion euros in total assets as of September. It's got 7,500 plus branches. It's just a huge bank. So the new service we offered through its Swiss subsidiary, BBVA Switzerland. This is the interesting part. Customers will be able to manage Bitcoin transactions and have deposits in this crypto. Starting in 2021, which is what everything is starting with, is 2021. 2021 it seems to be like the magical year. And it's what I've always predicted is, is going to be like the year for crypto and digital assets. But BBVA will offer its clients a service of trading and custody of digital assets with all the guarantees of any other banking service with a transparent system that is very simple to operate. So when they say custody of digital assets, that doesn't mean you're going to be custodying. That means they're going to be custodying it and you're going to get paper Bitcoin. Now, is this a good thing? Well, for some of the OGs like you and me? No, it's not because we want to have our private keys. We want to control it. That's the whole beauty of digital assets. But what's going to happen here is it's not going to matter because some people don't care about that. Now, some people might get into it later on and, and we'll educate them as best we can. But for mass adoption, this is huge. And when it talks, starts to talk about here with a transparent system that is very simple to operate, the reason why they were so against it is because banks make a lot of money behind the scenes with the curtains closed. So if you have something like this with a transparent system because everything is on the blockchain this is just something that they had to do they resisted as much as long as they could but they can't do it anymore anyhow that is it for i think the news article of the day we'll get into bigger topics later on so thanks for sticking with me through the entire video i appreciate it and i'll see you uh, tonight on the next one